I'm originally from Cochrane, Ontario. Uh, Cochrane, Ontario is up north. Uh, just uh, probably about a 10 hour drive straight up, uh, up Highway 11. I moved to London when I was about 12, uh, 13 and uh, landed uh, in White Oaks. My heart is, uh, will always have a place in, um, in the small town of Cochrane, where my father still lives. Uh, but my, um, my life has been enriched and, uh, and, and I've been very, very fortunate uh, to, to call London my home. I started off at Weeble because I lived in White Oaks and that was my designated school, but then they moved over to an adult learning center. And so I was hanging out with some gals and they were saying, um, you know, come to RMC, Regent Monday College. And so I said, oh, okay. So I went to Regent Monday, but I kept missing the bus. And so I opted to go to Laurie, which I spent, Laurie Secondary School, I spent a couple of years there. But um, I really needed to, uh, really wanted to go to university and I needed to not take math. <laughs> so I, uh, I found, uh, I, I went to Beale for my final year, my grade 13 year. Uh, just because they had a lot of uh, lib more liberal arts uh, course offerings that it would allow me to go to university. So that's why I went. That's my, my, my story about all the high schools. It wasn't because I was a, a bad kid. Well, we'll just move on. I initially attended a Brescia University, Canada's All Women's University, um, for my first year. I uh, decided to pursue anthropology as a program. I loved uh, everything about anthropology and the courses, and so I ended up shifting over to main campus. I finished my bachelor's degree, took a year off, and then came back to complete my master's degree in anthropology, and um, and never, you know, never regretted it. My I do remember my parents wondering what I was going to do with that, but it turned out I use it every single day, particularly with the relocation work that I do with internationals. Yeah, so I live in uh, in Old South. I don't live in Wortley, although I'd always like to say I'd live in Wortley because that's what makes Old South a, a gem that it is. London's lucky, we have lots of great neighborhoods, but I'm really fortunate to live in Old South. I love the walkability, the tree-lined streets. I love bumping into my neighbors. I love being able to head, uh, head to the Wortley Village area and just see people sit on the patio there and have friends and, and neighbors and professional colleagues walk by because, you know, that's, it's just such a great vibe there. So yeah, it's my neighborhood. I love it. Is that good? So I have two big fat cats, Buddy and Fella. Uh, they are brothers, bonded pair, uh, hilarious and uh, super affectionate. And I have become an accidental rescuer of uh, senior or elderly chihuahuas. Um, I have, uh, I had previously a, a chihuahua rescue that I got when she was seven. She passed away when she was 18. And then about six months later, I got a tap on the shoulder from uh, somebody whose grandmother was going into a uh, long-term care facility with advanced dementia and there she was leaving behind a 13-year-old chihuahua named Susie. So we adopted her about a year and a half ago. Haven't looked back, she's been a great addition to our family. We love her. So over the years I've been really, yeah, I've been definitely active in the London community. Uh, currently, I am uh, serving on the board of directors with Libro Credit Union. Uh, I was just elected to the board last year, and uh, I'm serving on the board of directors with Main Street London, and I'm on the capital campaign cabinet with Russia University. I think in many ways, this is how I've been, found, I found myself uh, over the years, giving of my time, joining committees, volunteering, serving on uh, boards, serving on volunteer initiatives. I'm passionate about the city, I'm passionate about our community, I'm passionate about issues, and I really wanna um, do what I can to make some type of impact. The biggest thing is to make sure whatever it is that I'm doing, that I'm passionate about it, that it is a fire in my belly, because um, you will always make time when you're, when, when you are doing something joyful or you're doing something that has impact and you're surrounded with really great people who are just as committed as you are. So I think that's the, the secret sauce on how to make, um, make that work, how to bring in, how to make sure you're, you know, your volunteer 
uh, time, your time, treasure, and talents are well utilized is, is, to, is to make sure you're feeding that fire in your belly. So that's me. That's what I've been doing, feeding my fire. <laughs> so. Good job, Jody. Okay, yeah. thank you.